coming under attack from some angry bees. So everything is just getting quite a bit trickier. Getting properly attacked now by... Oh, sh I think this is, this is just about the toughest jungle I've been in. Uh, jungles in Colombia, in Burma, in Borneo. They're not as bad. They're not as uncomfortable. They're not as sticky and bitey as this is. This is tough. This is really tough. I think this is gonna be, we are gonna be very, very lucky to see bonobos here. I hate to say it. But then suddenly we do get lucky. <laughs> Noises ahead. We think we might have heard some bonobos up ahead. And then, just in front of me, I can see shapes moving in the trees. We all need to be wearing these masks. Not just for COVID, but for the transmission of any other virus or disease. The bonobos are just about 15, 20 meters through the trees there. But the foliage is so thick, they might as well be a mile. We need to get a bit closer, slowly, carefully. These are some of our closest living relatives, perhaps our closest, closer even something than chimpanzees, our cousins, our kin. Bonobos are only found in the Congo, and there's still much to learn about them. We do know they live in extended family groups, which the females tend to dominate, even though they're smaller than the males. I just love their relaxed, gentle nature which is probably because they don't have much competition for food. Lombard's keen to impress on me that what larger animals like bonobos eat is crucial to the whole forest ecosystem. So they eat a lot of fruits at partir of these fruits that are in the stomach. It's what we call the dormant. So he does the caca. He eats a lot, a lot, a lot of plants. It's the reason why we say that when the forest has no water, it's not water. Des, des animaux, là, c'est cela qui fait que la, la forêt n'a plus de valeur parce que les arbres ne peuvent plus pour pousser. Donc, on peut dire que c'est le plus grand jardinier. This is a really crucial point. A forest isn't just the trees, it's everything that lives there. Protecting a forest isn't just about stopping illegal logging, it's protecting all the life within. Look at these babies. I can see one, two, three, four. There's one just up the trunk of the tree above us. On our busy planet, wildlife and wild areas are taking a hammering. Countless extraordinary creatures are being pushed towards extinction. But this wilderness in the Congo and these awe-inspiring animals are a reminder beauty and wonder still exists. Compared to other great rainforests around the world, the Congo is still relatively untouched. There is still time to save and protect this unique ecosystem.
Thank you.